Hello and welcome to another Shadowverse Evolve unboxing. Today with Absolute Conqueror with set number six. And yeah, in my last boxes I was pretty lucky. I felt like I pulled my first leader card. I pulled a UR on stream. Very not expecting that. And yeah, maybe we can continue my luck today. And looking into the, the card gallery. We've got like some leader cards, which are in collaboration with, I think, Hololive. Yeah, Hololive production, very nice looking. I usually really like character designs in the Hololive universe or VTuber from the scene. And yeah, we've got one. You are there. Yeah, the SP, like the, the pink with the pink background and the what kind of animal is this? It's like a like a mouse. I don't know what thingy this is, but it's cute. Would be like one of my chase cards. I even like the SP more than the leader. Really like the background in the in the leader card. The background looks like a wallpaper thingy. It's like not really in a environment. I don't know. I don't like this one so much. Or the background. I don't like it. And yeah, besides that, I. I like a Japanese traditional or like these kitsune looking mask or with traditional clothing. But besides that, yeah, nothing really caught my attention so much. Like, of course, there are many, many nice looking cards, like always in, in the Shadowverse universe, but yeah, from the high hits. Uh, these are like all the cards we were looking at and for the rest of the, the artworks I want to get the prized. But yeah, by now we should, I don't know when I will upload this, but I, we should probably have like nine or even ten releases. So I'm a little bit behind. Sorry. But we, we start with a token card. Don't know from from which card, but it looks very cute. Waiting for, for the food. And yeah, I think, is this the last set with like 16 booster packs? I think at some point they changed it. I'm not sure. And it's it's either this set or it's the next release where they started to give you a guaranteed SL card in a in a box. I don't remember, but we will find out if it's this one. Okay. Yeah, as always, like even the the lower rarities are very nice looking. We pull a GR, like an an elf looking. <laughs> okay, and the wizard mouse. And another, I think the, the tokens are usually all the, the same at this point. I have probably like a box full of tokens because I wasn't sure if I want to to keep them or if I, if I want to throw them away. But yeah, because I will probably never really play Shadowverse, even if there, there is a, uh, there is a English release. But I don't really have the, the money to support so many games. And the English boxes are always like a lot more expensive than the Japanese boxes. So sometimes you can get these shadow, these Japanese Shadowverse boxes for like 32 or 35 dollar. And yeah, we have the first LG. It's like this priest, priest looking guy with the snake. What was his name? But I like the artwork. Gives me some traditional Japanese vibes too. But yeah, because I'm ooh, like an angel. Because I'm already very pretty much invested into V-Cross. And I actually play the game and want to build decks and everything. I, I don't really have the money to to build multiple decks or go deep into multiple TCGs, sadly. 
And if I think that Shadowverse is quite quite popular and even like for the next future, okay. That's a nice artwork. Really like this one. Uh, has probably like a a nice future ahead, at least from from what I saw with the tournaments and the development of the Japanese meta. There were some some problems or issues on the way, but it looks like for now they kind of fixed it. <laughs> oh, we get the the regular version, yeah. So we pulled the evolved version. We are like pulling all of the hits back to back, you know. Oh, but I think this one is lazy. Okay, so this is the evolved version. This is the regular. Okay, I think this looks a little bit cheap. Like they mirrored the image and added a little bit of stuff in the hair. Hmm. I don't know, this is like the first time that I think they could have put a little bit more effort into the the artwork from the Oh, another traditional samurai girl looking demon. Uh they they could have put a little bit more work into the artwork. There are some some differences usually between the regular and evolved version. But this time it looks a little bit lazy. We get a SR. I still don't know how it's like the, the special foil version. And we get Dracula probably. Okay. And another GR. And another girl in a in a kimono. And I Probably I should put a binder together at some point with all all artworks with uh, kimonos. Because I, I really like kimonos. Yeah, I repeat myself, but I cannot repeat myself enough that I think kimonos are so beautiful. And I really enjoy them, especially when they have a lot of flowers. And we got a GR of the... The Hololife character named Hakui, Kuyo, very cute. I think these are like puppies. And yeah, this one, I I talked over it a little bit, but I I think this is very funny with these goblins. It gives me like some Warhammer, Warhammer vibes. Very very cool. Because sometimes they mix. Um. Uh, yeah, some fantasy worlds. Like it looks wild, not as wild as Battle Spirits Saga. Battle Spirit Saga is kind of fun to open, but it's not really looking like a consistent designed world. It really looks like they put together a lot of different influences and stuff, and from. I just opened like the first set from Battle Spirit Saga, but I, oh, but I felt like, yeah, it's really confusing. And this is probably the last hit of the box. I haven't counted, but it feels like. But yeah, probably like my favorite from the art and character design. Looks great. Maybe there's still still hope for another leader pull. I think you, you can never Ooh you can never get enough and another uh, another goblin. I love how silly these look. Goblins are always a little bit silly and that's great. But yeah, maybe this is the Ooh, ooh the first set with a guaranteed SL, I don't know. Unfortunately it's the same. Uh, yeah, boring character. I like the the foil pattern in the background, but I would 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 have really liked to get a different uh, SL hit, a different character. It's not yeah, it's really like one from the not from the better looking art. But yeah, 
Maybe it's not guaranteed to get the DSL and I shouldn't complain at all. But from looking from the, the card gallery, I got a heavy, heavy focused waifu box. There are actually a lot of uh, warriors or male characters. Somehow I got all the, all the women and one. Oh, okay. It's like an, a mammoth or yeah. An elephant and the world on his back. Reminds me a little bit of like Terry Pratchett, the the author and uh, the disc world where there are, uh, there's like a big turtle in space and on the turtle there are, I think, four elephants carrying the world. Uh, another Hololife character, I don't remember her name. Sakamata Klo, Chloe? Cute. I love the heart and the name. Really cute. Yeah, the the leader cards in this set, or even like the oh the UR. So the character that I oh I sh I continue with the unboxing, but the character that I really like, the blue haired girl, is uh, called White Frost. Oh. Double? Oh, okay. The regular version and the wolf version. Again, feels feels a bit lazy. Same expression, just mirrored and added a little few things. So maybe the artists were in a rush. I don't know. I think this is a little bit lazy. But maybe some people think it's looking cool. I'm not here to, to judge. But yeah, the... Ooh. Nice one. Uh, the White Frost character has a a UR card too, like the where is she? Her. She has a really cool looking UR card that I totally overlooked when I looked at the card gallery before. But now I kind of feel like this would have been my my favorite hit. But yeah, I think I've got one more box for, for a live stream. So maybe uh, if you don't want to, to miss the live stream, please check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. And let's end with another, where's my focus? <laughs> with another focus and another photo of wheel pack. We got, maybe I should go a little bit faster through the comment card, but okay, yeah. I remember this artwork and I think not looking good. The shading is not so well, but yeah. Thank you for watching and for more unboxing. Oh, I have already said this. Thank you for watching. Bye.